Um, okay. Just making sure I was, uh, you, could get, you guys could all hear me. Um, yeah, Tracy will interrupt if there's a question in the chat that pertains to something that you'd like me to kind of go over, or if you want to um, uh, need a particular question on what I'm doing right then and there, okay? So we are in the dashboard. I've created a site in local and it's called Build Live. So I used this last time. Um, as you see, there is an update. So like I said, I'm not gonna update it to the new release but um, we'll have some information about that at the end. So we're gonna look at the page on the front end. And right now it's just pretty basic. We have a home and we have a featured image, okay? So we can go up and edit the page. And remember you guys picked this blue last time, so we're gonna use that. And uh, when we ever, Whenever we go in to edit a page, we always get a pop-up that um, gives us different patterns that we can use within our area. And we're gonna pick one of those in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you that um, I have a featured image over here. So that's what was pulling in the front end. And when I am doing a site, I like to have um, multiple multiple tabs open, but especially a front end tab that I can see what it actually looks like on the front end. The um, Even though the editor is getting better, uh, once you get the list view open and have this view, the um, the view is 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 distorted. so it's it's kind of hard to figure out sometimes. All right, so first question. I'm doing a travel blog. I need a name for my site. Anyone got any good kind of travel the world titles for my, my blog or my website? I wanna share my experiences of traveling the world. So just put them in the chat for me, see. Um, and as Tracy put in, I'm going to be using um, images from the photo directory. So WordPress has this awesome free photos. And um, this is a resource for everyone to use. And these are great for filler images. So if you are doing a design for a client um, and you don't have their photos yet, you can use um, any photos from here. Uh, and it has the CC zero licensing common, common a creative commons licensing. So uh, those were the links of the people that I used. And to look at those, um, I've added them to my dashboard. So I go into dashboard and I go to media and, and I've added the images already to that that I'm gonna use, okay. Uh, the thing that I have done is I have um, uh, uh, resized them, optimized them. So I um, did that. And then I also added an alternative text, alt text to them for accessibility. Okay. And it's good to uh, also, like if somebody's taking photos, you know, they usually just get the like long, um, name, file name that has like numbers and letters. It's always good to update the file name to like what it is. Um, and then uh, using lowercase and um, hyphens between each word. And that really helps with then, if you have an issue with it, you can look at it like a checker or something and find out what image um, it is that is maybe causing you a problem or um, such. So that is always good to kind of rename kind of all the, you know, like the prep stuff uh, within um, 
and you know making sure that your file size isn't like oversized for the, what you what you want to do uh, which is good all right so let's go back to our page and like I said, we're going to got some names. Let's see what we got. I'm scroll through. Smart traveler for boomers. Travel with us. The place I, places I've been. Epic escapes. Getting lost with Laura. <laughs> Third rock highlights. Awesome. Anybody else? Jeanette on the net. Okay. All right, let's go with Peter's travel boomers. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, so we'll start there. And remember how I said we were going to add a uh, template. So we can go over to the toggle on the left menu and I can go to patterns and I can look at all of them. I can look at about and we can go into pages, portfolio, such, uh, all different kinds. Um, so we're gonna kind of look to see which one I wanna use for right now. Since I'm doing a, I want something, some variety. I, I, was, I was playing around with this one right here, um, but it didn't have anything else, which I could add something else to. So let's, we'll, we'll try this one. And that's the fun thing about, you know, like at this point, like you're kind of testing out how it looks. So I'm going to hit save and then I can look at it on the front end. So right now that looks like that. Okay. So, you know, a couple things is that when you are open a website, this is the first thing that you see, right? And this has to capture your audience. So it doesn't do much right now because it's just a picture. It, it's that featured image that's being pulled from the uh, template, the page template that I'm using. Uh, so I'm like, oh, that's not good, right? So I want, I want this, you know, I want my title up there at least somehow. So how can I change this up? So uh, we can do a couple different things. So we'll go back to edit page and I'm gonna open up my menu and look under the templates. And I can edit the template, swap the template. So I'm gonna look at swapping the template because I know that there's a template that has a no title, okay? So it's gonna take away the that title and I'm going to put the title in as a heading one instead and use that. Okay. So even though the title's still here, it's not going to show on the front end. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to refresh my page. And there we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm opening up my list view. And in front of the spacer here, I'm going to do an add before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I can do a couple different things. Um, I really love to use groups because um, I kind of started out with um, learning with containers. And I kind of like that each section of your page is a container or a group. So I like to use groups. And th this is one of those things that it's nice because the group then allows you to um, have some more settings available um, as opposed to individual blocks. So we're just going to keep it with uh, a basic group block and I'm going to make it uh, full width. Okay. And I'm going to then 
I can rename it. So if I click on the three dots of the group block, I can go down to rename. And this is going to be um, kind of like you can do, I call it, it's like a cover block, but um, cover first, you know, whatever. Um, you can rename it, whatever works best for you on that. So then I'm going to come over and I'm going to look at my settings and layout. So my settings right now are okay. So I'm going to go to the layout and I can do, can add a background image. So I'm going to click on that. And the image that I had before, I'm going to add as my background image. So again, it doesn't look like much like, okay, you would expect that the whole thing. So there's a couple settings that you need to do. One is your positioning. So I can take this little uh, dot and I can move it around to get like the center of the picture. And then there's another setting. Um, you can do a cover, contain, and tile also. We'll come back to that. But I want to come down to this one down here. Minimum, min okay, this is going to be hard today. Minimum, 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 there we go, height. <laughs> and um, I'm going to adjust this and there we go. Okay, so now I have uh, a true cover. And uh, yes, you also have the cover block that you can use, but it doesn't have as many um, uh, set it, like display settings that you can use. So let's look at this and look at the difference between the cover, contain, and tile. So contain is within the um, um, set settings, and then a tile is like a, an overlap, which is kind of cool. Okay, um, and you can do a uh, repeat or non-repeat. Okay, so that could be a fun thing to to work on. And then what does the auto do? Let's see. Ooh, wow. Okay. No, don't want that. <laughs> I definitely want auto. Let's see if it's 600. Okay. So a small number is, yeah, lots of, lots of repeats. So we'll go back to our basic cover. And then we want to, um, go in and add our heading and um, let's see, forgot to save it. Oh, there we go. We'll come back. All right, so now we have the heading on top of it. Now we can do a couple different things. We kind of want it, you know, down a little bit, but I don't want it over the trees and I want to change it to a heading one. Uh, because I took away the title, okay, and let's see what else. We want it full, and I want to give it some padding because it's too far over. So I'm going to come over here to dimensions and click on padding, and then I can add, um, I'm going to just do a left padding for now because I want it off that one side because I think it'll be okay. Um, let's hit save and go over and refresh. Okay, so I want to play with this a little bit more and my image is a little bit off, kind of looks weird. So again, that's why it's important to have that front end open because it looks great, kind of good here, but um, something's up with it going to the front. And those are those little things that you kind of have to just play with. I am going to add, uh, I clicked back on my padding options to um, do top and bottom. So I'm going to add um, a couple of that. Um, I'm going to just add a top. Let's just add top. So I just want it away from there. And then I'm going to add um, some more to the left. There we go. Okay, and then I need to click on my cover to go into my styles. Remember that minimum height? I guess I need to make it a little bit bigger. We'll see how that goes. 
and maybe adjust that. So we'll hit save. We'll go to the front end. There we go. Okay. All right. So for accessibility, you notice that uh, it's kind of hard to read some of the lettering. So if we can get it over to the blue, maybe we can, um, that would be good. So if we add some more padding, and this is where, let's try it over here. We kind of have to go back and forth to see if it gets there. Um, We'll play around with that a little bit more. All right, so it won't let me get all the way. Oh, okay, you know what I need to do? I'm gonna um, align the tech center, then add the patch, because then that will be better. Yeah, it won't give me, um, well, now it says 57, okay. All right, let's see where that ends up. Um, and then you can also close this too, um, and close this kind of, so you can kind of see on that end that hopefully, fingers crossed, that I got it in the right place. And we'll, there we go. Okay, a little bit more. And get it out of the branches, there we go. Okay. Look at that, awesome. All right, so we kind of, we have our, our thing. Um, we need a call to action, right? So we need something um, in here to then, um, why is the person coming to visit your site, right? Uh, we, they can scroll, yeah, we could do that. Um, and it could just be a blog, but uh, we'd be, you know, selling a like how to tip you know we want to make this a monetized thing or we want to add um, a newsletter so we want them to click on a button to to do that so we're going to go back to our edit page and i'm going to open up my list view and within here i'm going to add um, a paragraph so i'm going to add after and we're gonna do some filler text and I have a couple different ones. I always like to use Cupcake Ipsen uh, cause it's fun. Uh, I also um, found, cause I'm a big Taylor Swift fan too, uh, Taylor Swift Ipsen. Um, but I am in North Carolina and I found Durham Ipsen, which Durham is another city within North Carolina. So that was kind of fun. So I'm just gonna, um, it's just, bunch of words that have to do with things around the city. So I'm gonna take that and only paragraph of filler text. And I'm gonna go back in and add that. And since this is going on top of a picture, we're going to, going to then um, add a background so that we can see it a little bit better. We want it kind of opaque. So if we do that, uh, um, that's always a fun effect to kind of just play with the opacity of that block to see what we can do with it. Um, I might want on the gray side though, because then the, let's see if the lettering will pop a little bit more. No, let's do the blue. Um, so I opened up the background just to reiterate and I clicked within the color and then I'm playing with this opacity. There we go. Okay. So we'll hit save and we'll go here. All right, so my spacing's a little bit off. So I kind of want to bring that down um, a little bit. So I can uh, click on the paragraph block and go to two dimensions, add padding. Um, 
For me, I tend to just use padding. I don't use margins a lot. Um, and I try and um, kind of focus in on like, is it just the top? You know, are we just here? Um, I might end up switching it if for some reason I had another thing here and I wanted it space, but kind of like just build upon it. And, you know, different people might do where the padding's on the top and the bottom and then have the spacing, uh, but you might need more spacing on the top as opposed to the bottom. So that I like to do each one specifically with that. And that's the reason why I do that. Um, yeah. Um, Oh, you know what happened? Okay. So see, I put the spacing in, but it just did the spacing within the block. It didn't do the block between those. So let's go back and take that away. Um, so that time I will, if it's if this is just controlling the top and the bottom, I will just top and bottom so then it has it within the text. So now we need to do um, let's see. We can do a couple different things. We can go back to our cover, uh, our group block, and go into um, setting settings, yeah. Um, and there is an option here for block spacing. So we can kind of block spacing to adjust that um, and move that around. All right, so there's that. And then we need our call to action. And we're gonna do an add after. And we can um, click up here and we can do, um, Type in button. And there's a couple different ways that you can, you know, add these things into it too. There's also previews that you can see the different by that. Why did it add two buttons? Hmm. Maybe because I clicked on it twice. Let's see. I'm gonna do an undo. There we go. Okay. So now we can style our button to kind of go with our flow. Um, we're going to uh, center it. And because we did that block spacing, it might be too far apart. So we'll have to see. Uh, and um, for accessibility, we want to, you know, add kind of a little bit more, um, information on what this button does or you know like why should I why should the person click on it so if it's for um uh, like a newsletter sign up so um you can put um newsletter sign up and then we're gonna you know start playing around with um the button type so I see that this has some opacity to it. So we'll go into our styles. And for some reason, I'm going to make this a dark blue and the text white. Um, and I want the text to be larger. Oh, it might be too large. All right. So this is too large. This is too small. So what happens? We go to a specific. Um, I do like to use the REMS because of the fact that um, it, it it happens to be the default and it's easier for um, being able to, on different devices, uh, mobile responsiveness, um, that you don't have to like add extra code for like a mobile device. It should then, um, because of all the newer updates, look good. So we'll test that out in a second. And I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. We'll hit save. And we'll look at this on the front end. Um, 
Now, my Zoom thing is in the way. So I like it when I can see my header, I can see all of this and the button. So like I said, the button is a little bit smaller. I would kind of like it up here. So I need to do a little bit of adjusting on that. And remember how I added in that padding for the cover. So I'm gonna come back here to my list view, come up to my group block and come over here. And I added that block spacing. So I need to adjust that. So we'll see how that looks. And refresh. There we go. So I, I, I like that because then it's all right when that pay, that image loads that um, people can see that. All right, let me take a break. I see that, that you guys have been chatting a lot. So um, is there anything that um, pertains to this right here that I can answer? There was, a, there was quite a bit of discussion on the on padding and how it relates to uh, responsive devices. Okay. And how it shows up and, and whether you, or not you can do things for specific screen sizes. And the answer to that is no, not at this time, not yet. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of people are uh, just designing in mobile first. Um, you know, if, if you feel that you're, the, the customers are more um, more that. And um, so, you know, you could just start out in mobile. So here's my mobile. I, it doesn't look good. <laughs> um, in that instance. So there's a lot of, because of the fact that I moved that so that's when I have to kind of look to see like, ooh, okay, like how how can I adjust this so that um, it would look good on mobile? And those are those little things that you kind of just have to start playing with then as you're designing um, and, and take off some of um, adding or kind of adjust it and and sometimes you might have to add a, some CSS to it if it's particular. I don't know why, because this isn't something. Yeah, going it has on. to do with with the the padding and the container width and yeah, you know the the responsive device. And yeah. if if it comes down to it, you can always go to a custom CSS within the yeah. site editor. Um, but the way I got here was that I just um, clicked and did my developer tools or inspect, depending on what browser you're using. Um, and there's uh, a little icon down here to get different um, dimensions for different devices. So um, that's a good, this is a good tool to, for testing of those devices if you need that. This is also a, a fun tool to uh, play around and change uh, somebody's existing website <laughs> um, and freak them out totally because you can make changes there and it, it doesn't um, affect their thing. Um, anything else that... Yep, yeah, uh, Catherine pointed out that the, the group block, they've given it a lot, a lot more power, which is really fun. Um, to make it more um, user friendly to get the things that you you want, so just kind of learning the tips and tricks. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for answering questions too. I appreciate that. Um, Are you going to offer? Are you, will you offer more of these or? Um, we will have one more um, session and then uh, we will definitely have a lot more, more coming um, in the next couple months. 
uh, always look at our meetup for uh, new new things happening, new workshops. Okay, we'll give you some information at the end of where to find that information. Um, all right, moving on. Okay. So what do we want next? I'm going to let you guys decide. Do we want something about, um, you know, what should go next in our page here? Do we want images of, of different places? Do we want to look at um, how to create a post that this is pulling from? So we'll look at posts first on how I created this, um, and then uh, we'll see how it's gonna. Uh, we'll we'll do one more, a third one, and we'll see that it gets pulled into here. Okay, there's supposed to be like eight of them that you get pulled in, um, but we'll look at that. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. I'm gonna go to posts, and I can add a new post. And I'm going to go over and set my featured image. Okay, so this is a no title post. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a single post template. I'm sorry. I don't, they added this new feature where when you put the title in, it'll pop up over here. So I'm going to get the featured image because I want to get the name of the city because since I'm using different cities. So let's use this one. Oh, this is where WordCamp Europe was. And I'm just going to copy that name for a second and add that. OK, and that name will be my title. And I'll get some cake Ipsen, um, click and generate. So we'll do that. And I'll go into, okay. So it doesn't look much now, but then I publish it, publish it again. So um, sometimes you'll you'll kind of click twice because of the fact that you're um, you know like updating the page, but then you're all updating the global settings too. Then, um, and then we can go and view the post. So you see that this would be a post. So what it is, it's pulling the featured image. It has the title. Um, this post has the date and the author's name. Um, we can. I'm going to show you how to categorize it. And then we have our content. And we have our comment. And we have a uh, previous. OK, so uh, there'll be kind of a previous and um, future. So to look at, let's go back into our post. And we'll look at the list view. And right now it's just, you know, with two paragraphs. But what we can do is take these paragraphs. I'm gonna click on one and then I'm gonna hold the shift key and I'm gonna click on the other. And then I'm gonna click on the three dots and I can group these. So remember how we said that we have more function style options with the group. So now I can take this and I can make it wide width or I can make it the full width. And I can save that. And look at this on the front end. Okay, did not make it the full width. 
So something happened. Okay, let's turn that, there we go. Um, so there's an inner blocks uses content width. So because um, the content width is like 640 or something, um, it wasn't letting me. So let's try this. There we go. Now that's too much, right? So we want to maybe add some padding or we can go back here and then just change the content to um, 700. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, a little, I wanted to try and make it a little bit wider. <laughs> Let's try this. There we go. Um, so that that worked out good. And then um, the categories. So um, under post, we're going to click and gives you a lot of information, which you, um, this is a new thing too, that um, I don't remember seeing the, uh, how many words and uh, the read time, which is nice. And there's categories and tags. So you can click on categories. Let me make this a little bit bigger. As you can see, and we can uh, uncategorize and we can add a new category name. So we can do uh, a, a Europe and hit enter. Okay. And then we can do um, another Italy and hit enter. All right. Um, and then we can also tag, add tags to this. So we can do a travel. We can do, um, you know, Italy. I think we can do, we don't want to tag in categories at the same time. We might be able to um, because when we do um, searches. All right, let's see what that looks like now. All right, so you see that um, I've added those categories right there. And here are my uh, tags down here. And, um, you know, you can add something else because it kind of looks weird that there's only two tags. <laughs> there's like two words floating in bubbles here. So like why that? But then this tag would open up a page if there was more Italy, okay? Or if I go to travel, it would open up a page of all my travel. So I, that's always fun. Um, but yeah, I would probably want like the wording tag, tags somehow, because that kind of looks weird. What do you think? So let's look at the template that this is coming from. That's always fun. And we're gonna go back to here. And um, So I'm in the edit the post, and this is usually the easiest. So I'm gonna go to the single post and I'm just gonna click show post, show template, okay. So it brings it up on the page that I, on the post that I'm editing. And what it did was it's showing the placeholders. It's including the header and the footer. Okay. So these, if you notice, there's these purple kind of purplish icons. Those are parts of template of the template. Um, and so we can, we have a header, we have the featured image and in the template, if you wanted to adjust the size of the featured image, this would be, um, you know, you could look at that. We have the title, we have the post metadata, um, which then you could edit. We have the content block. So remember that the content block is just a block that's gonna pull the information from our pay, our post and the information there. And within the content, 
it's kind of match mashing up the template with the post. So within our um, Italy post, in our content, we have the group and we have the, pa the paragraph. Um, and then we have the footer, okay? So we can look and see all the different parts of the template, which is a nice thing to, okay. Um, now, I assumed that I could adjust the featured image. So that's what I was gonna show because sometimes the featured image can be a little bit too big, but I don't see that option. So let's go back and go to appearance and go to our editor. Um, remember how I said there's always two or three different ways. So we're gonna go to our templates and we're gonna look at all templates. Okay, um, so we're looking over here and we want the one with, let me do a search, single post. Okay, so we have the header and then we have our group. And within that group, we have a featured image. There we go. So I want to make this featured image. It's a placeholder right now but I want to change it, um, the sizing. Okay. So it's not giving me options to resize it. Because I was assuming that there'd be a Maybe this. Sometimes when you click on things, you, you can take it and move it. But let's see if this will work. There we go. Okay, so that's too big. Okay, squares, huge. Oh, let's say, need to go back down to 100%. Um, wide, there we go. So let's see if I add uh, my height of, let's see. Oh, that's really tiny. Um, okay. So yes, I can play around with the sizes here. I don't want one that's to make that a different size. There we go. Um, so if you want a different format for all your posts, this would be the template would be the, the place to either change it or you could keep the single post. And then um, we go back into templates and you could add a brand new template. Um, and what's nice about here is that when you click on add new template, it will give you um, a single post item or you can do a custom template. Okay, so um, those are some things that you kind of have to think about as you're going along um, and what would best serve you or your customer of if, you know, if you're going to do a travel blog and you're going to use the same kind of format, um, it's nice to have that template ahead of time or a pattern that you use repeatedly um, and set those things um, up to work for you. All right. So I'm gonna go back and let's save. And let's see how this looks on the front end with the smaller image. There we go. Um, So we can kind of, you know, play around with, with different things within there. Let's see if I can add that. See, it's, it says tags, I wonder why. 
Um, could I add a four? And then make this and this into a um, group. But then I want to change the group into a, over here, I can put it into a um, row. Oh, there we go. Okay. So hopefully when I come back, refresh, there we go. So I can have tags and then I can have my tags there. And I can style that to oops, be different. Okay. So those are those like little things that you can adjust within there. All right. How are we doing, Tracy? Um, we have about 10 minutes, so I'm going to kind of stop there for today. I want to open it up for uh, questions and I'm gonna stop the recording. Okay. Any questions that we need to address? No, most have been covered in the, in the chat. Um, that had to do with uh, editing images and and uh, a way to do that uh, outside of WordPress. And 